Vader's Vault here with a very exciting announcement. Uh, you guys have been asking for it and we have listened. Uh, we have just been uh, in development with the new product for a little while. Uh, but we are announcing the return of the Vader's Vault Flex. A uh, very popular model based, of course, on the Graflex uh, flash gun prop seen in the movies. Uh, again, all three versions will be returning, the a &H, ESB, and TFA, TLJ. And we have some uh, great changes to the design uh, and a uh, much, much more robust product to offer you guys. Uh, as you may or may not know, our previous model was based on the Parks 2.0, uh, 2.1 platform, uh, which, you know, three years ago was an amazing versatile little hilt um, and the fact that you know the different ways it could be configured uh, so it had some great things about it that uh, allowed a lot of people across the world to get a Graflex based product at a price point that has had yet to have been achieved. Uh, so there was some also uh, some other things we didn't uh, really care for on the the 2.1 2.0 platform uh, and those are the things that we wanted to change for our, our new product. Uh, so we started working with Peter of 89 Sabres and uh, we came up with and, and made some suggestions for what we would like to see in a better um, Graflex based product. Uh, we did order and sample pretty much every other replica uh, from every other manufacturer out there of the, the base Graflex shell and we feel that overall um, for what we want to offer as a product, the 89 Graflex is the best uh, bang for the buck out there. Not only is it, is it extremely accurate, but the quality and the fit and finish is superb on them. And from a base starting point of wanting to convert it to a functional Sabre, uh, the 89 is, is already light years ahead of pretty much everybody else. Um, you know, we didn't want to have to dismantle a functioning flash gun replica to then install a whole new setup for Sabres. We wanted to start with something made uh, for converting to Sabres. So uh, thanks to Peter there with his awesome work. Uh, we've got some great uh, features on here I think you guys will love. Uh, basically, like I said, the fit and finish is, is much better. The, the uh, nickel plating is so much nicer, so much more uniform. Uh, the, the actual quality of the finish, we don't get any of the dings or dents uh, that we had seen in the past. We've got uh, more accurate features. Uh, we've got rubber, uh, molded rubber grips rather than the hard molded plastic grips. Uh, we've got the flattened beer tab here under the red button. The red button itself is the correct uh, color red plastic rather than anodized aluminum. Um, we've got the uh, correct slide switch here on the side, which actually is very functional. Uh, it's a very clever engineering uh, solution in there for the uh, auxiliary switch. Uh, so we definitely like that. Uh, helps retain the accuracy of the exterior while still providing a functional secondary switch solution. Uh, the bunny ears are much more robust. They're cleaner. They're made of a better quality steel so they, they don't bend. Uh, we've got the accurate charge port tab here with the faux seam uh, going through the charge port to simulate the original flash gun piece where it separates. We've got the uh, accurate lip out here up front uh, in front of the blade holder. Uh, we've got the correct brass rimmed glass eye for the TLJ TFA version. Uh, just lots of great things. Of course, just like the previous version, these are one inch blade holders, so they will work with one inch blades, uh, uh, of course. Um, there is the tabs on the inside of the bunny ears, however, they're not as pronounced, so we will still be offering the service to grind them down, but honestly, it's not quite as necessary on this particular version, uh, just because, it, it, like I said, they're not as pronounced. Uh, a couple of other things we, we decided to do a little differently. Um, this is a J-lock design. Like I said, it's very close to the original uh, flash gun. So it's no longer a threaded rear grip and threaded pommel insert. Uh, this is a J-lock, which is operated by uh, releasing the lever here and uh, twisting the grip to, to release the grip. So uh, we could no longer pull our uh, standard combat class chassis out the back. So we decided to uh, do away with that and go to a fixed uh, chassis. Uh, that allowed us to do a few things. Uh, one, we upgraded the size of the speaker. Uh, not that the 22 millimeter we use is, is any, you know, not sufficient or anything, but the 28 millimeter allowed us to give a little bit more compression uh, to the sound so that uh, with the hidden sound vents that we have, we feel that it was able to push more air and uh, cut through that and be able to give you a good quality sound in the process. Uh, it also, with our new chassis, is a very uh, similar chassis to our Hero product and our Vader product was, 
uh, and that it's a very nice solid hunk of Delrin in there. So that, that gives a very user-friendly, uh, easy access to the chassis and electronics, and also it gives some nice weight to the hilt. Uh, not that the flex-based products are, are light by any means, but uh, the nice hunk of Delrin in there gives it a nice heft to it, uh, just adds that extra level of realism. So I'll get into the, uh, to that in a second here. Uh, these particular ones are NeoPixel uh, powered, so I will show you the nice animated blade here in a minute and uh, go through, you know, of course, color change and spectrum features and whatnot. But yes, the Flex is back. It will be released this Friday, May the 4th at noon, along with our ready-to-ship sale of uh, special unique items and uh, other savers that we like to put up uh, for people to grab. These will not be ready to ship, but they will be available for you to configure and order. Uh, so the Flex is back in all its glory. And let me show you here the, uh, the electronics here. So with the J-Lock, you have to get it past that little lock, of course, that's sort of why it's called that, and pull off the rear grip. Under here, on the other side, is the crystal shard with the SD card. Very easy to access, nice little slope there, so you can get your finger in there, pop it out, put your SD card in your computer, change your fonts, do whatever you want to do. Uh, this also has Bluetooth in it, so you can adjust settings via uh, the Rice app on your PC or Android device. And of course, sticking out here is a ribbon. We've added a ribbon to the battery holder. It is still a removable battery solution. Uh, we did feel that on this standard model that we did want people to have a removable battery option. That way, if they're at a convention, um, especially with the NeoPixel uh, being high drain and high power, we wanted people to be able to easily swap out their batteries. Uh, so we do have the, the standard battery holder here, but now we've added ribbon, so it's much easier to get that battery out and easy to access. And of course, there you got your 28 millimeter high bass speaker there. Um, this is our standard model, as I just mentioned. Uh, we are working on a crystal reveal chassis version uh, that we hope to release in the not too distant future. But for those people looking to get in a very affordable uh, Graflex base saber, uh, we've, the Flex uh, standard model is definitely going to hit that mark. Uh, so again, J-Lock design, that lever holds it nice and tight, just like the original. Close the lever, and it's good to go. Also special on these, on each individual model, just like before, a and -E ESB, and TFA, TLJ, uh, we are very happy and proud uh, to be partnering with Juan Sith uh, from SaberFont.com. Uh, and using three of his awesome fonts, his Graflex base fonts for each version. So depending on which version you get, a and ESB, TFA, TLJ, um, we will be including one of his themed fonts that correspond with those. So if you get an A&H Saber, you're going to get his a &H Legacy font uh, and so forth. So. It's time for the Jedi to end. Indeed. Okay, so pop in the NeoPixel blade here. Nice bright blue blade there. Uh, just like with the NeoPixel on other uh, combat class sabers, uh, color changes. Activating the two buttons and changing position on the axis. And when you get to the color that you want, hitting the aux button to lock it in. This is the new Vader's Vault Flex Standard model. Look for it this Friday, May the 4th, at noon Eastern Standard Time. That's Eastern U.S. time. And uh, enjoy your savers. Thanks.